Hello everybody and welcome back to Saxton Hales. So, I want to start this episode off by saying, holy crap, does my voice sound weird? Uh, I'm kind of getting over a sickness which made me lose my voice. Uh, trust me, I feel fine. Just for whatever reason, I sound anywhere between the Joker and Solid Snake and uh, I, I really don't know, you know, what the frick to do. So, um, half of the time, yeah, I, frick. Now, I wanted to play Pyro today on Saxton Hale, because uh, if I'm going to sound like I'm dead, I'm going to voice a character that doesn't have a voice, because, uh, yeah, I, I just, I, I can't freaking, like, speak tonight. My voice was fine earlier, and then the second I sit down and say, yeah, I'm gonna record something for YouTube, it breaks. Now, I kind of want to go over some of the weapons that Pyro has to use in uh, Saxton Hale, because I really haven't touched him a whole lot. Um, the more I use Pyro, the more I kind of feel like he's my new main. I really like the way that he plays, and, um, although characters like Demo Man or Engineer are probably much better for my playstyle when I can properly set them up, um, Pyro is a lot more rewarding and doesn't require a whole lot of setup, and can work with, um, very few or a lot of people on, so, um... Generally, I like to use the flare gun, the stock flamethrower, and either the power jack or the back scratcher, depending on if we have a medic. Um, the flare gun in Saxton Hale becomes a mini detonator, uh, or actually a super detonator. It's literally just freaking better. Um, and this might be my cue to leave here. Holy frick. Um, <clears throat> basically, Pyro's main gimmick is that he can air blast uh, the hail back, and... I know that's kind of his gimmick in normal gameplay as well, but... Uh, <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I, I didn't know that you could do that. Well, that might be something that we have to do. Alright, so when I say the Pyro has a super detonator, let me show you how high that you can jump with this thing. Okay, apparently not that high. There we go, that's better. It does full flare damage, and honestly, I'm not sure what the detonator even does. Uh, oh wow, I'm glad I jumped up here. This guy's freaking bomb rushing. <laughs> oh, you fool. You ran right past me. And there isn't a dispenser here, so I don't think I can get down and survive. Ha 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 ha, dang it. What in the frick is happening with this teleporter? <coughs> what? What? Whoa! Wh oh! I didn't take fall damage. What the frick was that? That's interesting. They must have just added that. The power jack actually probably is better than the back scratcher because the speed boost that you get is passive. You don't have to have it out. And I think it's improved too. Um, and Pyro, a class that wants to kind of hit and run. Definitely. Ooh. The frick was that? All right. I'm going to switch to Demo Man because, uh, or no, this isn't Demo Man. What? I'm gonna switch to engineer because uh, this pale counters what I'm doing, so uh, probably not going to be able to do that. Um, <clears throat> now, for those of you who are wondering, like, wow, this teletrap thing that these engineers are doing is so stupid. How am I supposed to counter this? Let me show you on the next round. I don't know in what scenario you guys are going to be playing VSH toys and would need to know this knowledge, but trust me. <clears throat> It can come in handy. I've seen, like, other YouTubers play these, like, specific maps, and then, like, years later, I'm, like, playing on the same map, and I'm like, hey, wait a minute, I remember this one YouTuber playing it, and I'm gonna try this strategy, and it works for some reason. Oh, no, that doesn't sound like a good idea. Oh, God, oh, frick. Well, boys, ha! I'm gonna fight him out. This is what he's gonna think is that I went up there, but I didn't actually go up there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
do it. Oh frick. Oh frick. Oh frick. No! No. I did so much damage by pure skill. Alright, now it's time to show you how the frick to shut down that. So, first of all, uh, I'm going to choose my main here, the Headless Horseman. I know it's kind of weird to main a hail, but trust me, the Horseman is by far the best. Hi. How did that hit the dispenser? Oh my god. Also, my screaming and pain can't hold any weight because I sound like I'm a drug addict. Yeah, I just predicted you trying to go backwards. And oh my god, these guys have so many pyros. That guy just didn't have a future. <laughs> so this guy is doing a pretty good example of how to play pyro. <clears throat> Oh, that's your death. Oh, that's your death. <laughs> what? Oh, this doesn't look good. Alright, we'll just have to remove some of this uh, rubble here. Then we wait for them to come back, because I guarantee you they're going to try to come back. Alright, I'm going to rage this guy and then rock, paper, scissors him. Alright, fine. <laughs> I'm sorry, engineer. Okay, um, now I'm playing Demo Man again. I kind of panicked and equipped my conscientious objector with a picture of a wrench on it. Oh my god, they must have buffed this. This shoots insanely fast now. This video is slowly just becoming a culmination of all of my other Saxton Hill videos. Because I'm sick, and I've played every class, and I've rock, paper, scissors, then I'm joining the space program, and good lord, what is happening in there? Um, when I said that I was completely fine, <clears throat> that may have been an exaggeration. I am on some weird stuff, uh, mainly just tea and elderberries, because apparently that's, like, a thing that cures sickness, according to my mother. So, um, I, I'm doing some, like, weird natural remedies. If you guys know the cure to whatever the frick disease I have, let me know, because, um, I'm kind of tired of sounding like I'm a smoker in rehabilitation. Also, I kind of forgot that I even have this melee. It's literally just the sign with a picture of a wrench on it. Um, I think I was trying to be a funny meme lord, and I had, like, an NG set for the heavy a while ago. And I kind of forgot, uh, what the frick was happening. Also, that was my Discord, not yours. Don't worry. Frick? Oh my god! Oh my god. Really? <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> I'm dying with my own hand, not on yours. Oh no, it's Barack Obama. Oh well, Barack Obama is about ready to fund NASA. Also, um, I'm not sure if nobody cares, or if nobody cares squared. But, uh, the Barack Obama sounds that I used for that really old, uh, me video are all from Saxton Hale. Um, I feel like the audience that watched the really old me Smash Brothers video is completely different than the TF2 audience. But hey, they got views. There's a way to, like, surf off of those books, and I, I haven't figured out what it is yet. <clears throat> gonna go I really don't like the uh, the non-existent viewing angle here oh I can't push this guy I was gonna like push him into the entrance so he can die instead of me I think he's over in the sentry nest but I don't want to find out oh god no the sentry nest is right above us frick I don't know where it is <clears throat> ah! I don't think we're gonna kill this guy 
He's a lot of health left, and I don't think... I think he's too smart to fall for this. Oh my god. Oh, they have a heavy medic combo. Why? Oh, holy frick. This is a map called... Ugh. It's not called Uh. It's called Secret Base, and I've never played on it before. This is my first time experiencing the... Oh, there's a crocodile. Why? Alright, now I'm actually going to play Pyro because if you don't know the map, Pyro is generally a good bet. Um, they had a medic in warm up and they don't, or I guess we did, and we don't anymore. Um, so if you decide to play medic and get my hopes up, why? Alright, uh, this map is actually kind of interesting. I. Looks like the board Bowser's sub level from Super Mario 64. Uh, yeah, that's all I have to say about it. Oh, also, Pyro can do this. <clears throat> um, if you air blast when you're jumping, you go in the opposite direction of the air blast. The jump kind of sucks, but it does allow you to have some ability without using the flare gun if you wanted to use, uh, honestly, I don't know what other weapon you use. The flare gun's pretty much your best bet. Um, but for whatever reason, if you wanted to say, you know what, I'm rebelling against society, I'm going to switch to the shotgun, uh, you could do that and have reasonable mobility options. <clears throat> okay, our team kind of crapped the bed, and uh, I kind of didn't help them. Oh, I can't get onto the... Okay. This is my submarine. God, there's a ladybug on my keyboard. Okay. Also, yeah, that tends to be a common problem um, in Midwest America. It is for whatever reason, <clears throat> we get infestations of... Um, they're not officially ladybugs. They're some, like, weird, like, Asian beetle type of thing. Um, they're, like, the freaking great value ladybugs. And we get them all the frick over our house. I'm sure any of you that live in the Midwest America can probably agree, yes, these things freaking get everywhere. Um, for whatever reason, the room that I record in seems to be a hot spot for them, because every single time I try to play anything, I get, like, hundreds of them, and they all climb up in a little corner above my computer and occasionally drop down onto my keyboard. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, when I want to press a key... The click that I want to hear should be from my mechanical keyboard, not from a crunching ladybug that just died. Um, the second of those is freaking disgusting, and now I have to wash my hands every time I play a game. Okay, I was gonna show off Pyro in this map, and it, like, literally doesn't work properly. Apparently some of the, like, angles and stuff... Uh, I don't know, they, like, I can't flare jump properly because the... The walls are a little bit weirdly shaped. Um, I can't air blast properly because sometimes random bouts of nothing will get in the way. Um, overall, I'm going to have to rate this map um, unrated out of 10. It's like the same deal as like unrated movies. It's like I could rate this, but I'm just too traumatized by the content. Um, interestingly, I compared this map to a Super Mario 64 level earlier. And, uh, I would argue that Super Mario 64 is a more functional game, which is actually impressive. Okay, now I want to finish this video out, uh, well, this just be an extra long boy, uh, with Sniper Hell, the map. Now, this map isn't exactly Sniper Hell, because it's very well designed, I would consider it more of a Sniper Purgatory, um, but the sight lines are freaking ginormous, and the hail has to endure a firing squad to even be able to get up the hill. Um, this map also kind of looks like Super Mario 64, um, I think there are, it looks like the, um, Thwomp's Fortress level, um, yeah, you can kind of see, like, there's, like, an elevator in this one that looks kind of like that. Um, anyway, let me just kind of, first of all, switch to the Scaly, and second of all, practice my targets. Now, Engineer and Sniper are both equally great choices because there's something that you can do with Engineer that involves blast jumping over to that island. 
And once you get to that point, there's really not a whole lot the hill can do. Um, this is like, ugh, excuse me, probably one of the classic Saxton Hale maps, if we're being honest. Okay, this guy just has it out for me. Or, oh. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm the hail now, and I guess I'm the furry, because... Yeah, frick. It's alright, though. As we know, furries are very overpowered. Um, they have the right to clear out a room just by existing. Um, I was gonna use uh, the horseman, and then I thought, you know what? We'll just... What am I hearing right now? All right, so that little shortcut is what we in the business call. How? How did that not kill that guy? That should have done plenty enough damage. <laughs> Good decision. All right, today's comment is, should I buy? Because I have a lot of credits on this server just because I played for so much. Should I buy the furry tag or the anti-furry tag? Uh, I'm going to put two comments in the the comment section and then you guys get to vote on which one you want to see generally people are very predictable on this game uh all right this is the guy who's complaining about rock paper scissors so i'm just gonna rock paper scissors him and he's not gonna have a choice come on you gotta do it the law it's the law. No. It's the law. The up, oh, this guy's playing military tank? Oh no. Alright. I was gonna end this here, but now I just really want to bully this guy. Uh-oh. Damage fall off might be a problem for this guy. The tank is never a good option. They've nerfed it into the ground to the point where not even I can, like, win with it anymore. And I say not even I with full understanding that, yes, that sounds like bragging or whatever, but, like, I played Hail for a really long time, and if there's a Hail that I can't win with, like, somewhat consistently, either it's a really gimmicky Hail that I've not learned the gimmick of, or it's kind of freaking bad. Um, this poor guy hasn't figured out that, uh, this is not a good idea. Which is good for me. Okay, well, he's coming here. He doesn't have any mobility, so I can literally just run the frick away, and there's not a whole lot he can do. I feel like the tank does have a head hitbox, because it's, like, literally just a reskin of Pyro, for some reason. Um, but I honestly have no idea where the head hitbox is. And also, that guy just freaking rolled time bombs, so I don't even have to do anything now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, anyway, that's gonna do it for Saxton Hill. Um, I, I kind of sounded like I need a lozenge this entire time. Um, I have taken a lot of lozenges, uh, so don't don't think that I'm neglecting my feelings. I don't freaking know. This sickness sometimes goes to my brain, I guess. So thank you for watching. Once again, remember to comment in the comments which. Thing that you want me to do. I forget what the thing was. And uh, have a good one.